I guess you could call this video like sort of me talking about a very old obsession that I had but lately it's become apparent that I might be believing it to be something more on a spiritual sort of level. Hi everyone and I've not done a video in like a month is it? I think it's been like a month because <laughs> I've been busy with everything but I've, yeah I've been a bit quiet. I just want to make this video to you because I, I just feel like I just want to share it with you. And it's sort of like a bit of beliefs about me and what I believe in the world and everything. And, okay, let me start. Everyone knows it. Titanic. Everybody knows of it. The film, the actual ship that sank, the many different reimaginings of it. Like, different films that have come out about it. Like, the 60s are the most famous Jack Rose one, which I love. It's on DVD. Before I start speaking about, like, the deep connections I have with it, I'll give you an overview of how I got invested in it. Alright, so basically, I was three years old and my mum wanted to like show me a video of what a flare was from a ship because she was trying to explain it to me and we found it in a book and she thought the best way at that time because this was like in like two early 2000s feeling old <laughs> and she thought at that time which she had the film you know, the James Cameron Titanic classic and it was on video at the time and she put it in and she fast forwarded to that bit with the flare showed it me and I loved it that scene because I was fascinated with ships at that time and so then we decided to watch the whole film, the whole three and a half hour joint. I was watching the whole thing, obviously because I was three I probably wouldn't like acknowledge the symbolism and the whole story and everything, just looking at the visuals. But I managed to retain it for like the whole film near enough and I questioned like the odd few bits about it. So I was quite like the of my age. <laughs> People still tell me that nowadays, even though I'm only 17. And yeah. I used to watch it every day, like when I came home from nursery. I watched it that often, the tape snapped a few times, we had to buy new ones. And at nursery, my mum would pick me up, everyone always used to ask, are you saying sale this afternoon? Because I used to watch it, and I used to always fall asleep because I was tired and it's long film. And it was a 12 and everything, it was a very mature film for my age to say, it's very distressing the second half, as you all know, because you've all watched it. And if you haven't, well, I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, anyway, <clears throat> there, I used to be obsessed with the film when I was younger, I was used to just watch it for like the ship itself, and as I got older, I would like to draw it and everything, because I used to love to draw when I was about five years old, and I would I would always draw it like the different angles from the from the film, even though it was like loads of CGI and everything, and but it looked real because high budget and everything. It's a James Cameron film, what you expect, but I used to always like draw it all the time, and I loved it. And then as I got older, I tend to like get more emotional with it because I can look at it from more of a character point of view, a character alignment perspective, a director's perspective. Uh, yeah, and the, the way they're on a target, everything, different cuts and everything. And obviously, now I study film at college, I can get a deeper understanding of all the symbolisms and everything. And like, how this will mean this or this from like, like the Iron Flying scene will represent, represent symbolism of escape. And deterrence away from their old life, whereas when I was young I always used to watch as if to think, oh they're just on the front of a ship, not actually realising what was going on. I take more of an emotional level with it now and I do get emotional with the actual characters, but also I know of a historical perspective because it actually happened and CGI in it's incredible and even though a few bits of it are like a little bit dated because it wasn't in the 90s, it's spectacular anyway, I love it. And sometimes you watch a film and you think, oh that CGI is a bit off. Not with this film, as you all know. But lately, when I watch it, yeah, I do get invested in the whole Jack and Rose thing, but not as much as like the majority of people do. I, I do get invested with it, but I always focus on other aspects to it as well. And I've watched it often, I can pretty much recite the whole film. It's quite sad. But, yeah, lately I, I'll look at it and I'll think, hmm, what's the reason why I'm like so invested in this film, like, yeah, there was, mum showed it me and since then I've been hooked, so perhaps I was supposed to see it, because uh, I believe that everything happens for a reason, because what would be the point of it all, if everything's down to chance, then there must be some purpose, because otherwise, why would everything happen, and you're going you're gonna to go into a whole like philosoph philosophical debate on this, but I'm not going to go into a debate, it's just opinionated, and I respect other people's beliefs as well, I'm not trying to like be biased or anything. <laughs> But, I believe everything happens for a reason, and I believe I was like supposed to watch this film to understand more about it, and I'm getting to the stage now where I kind of think maybe I, I was on it in a past life, 
maybe I was on it in a past life. Yeah, because um, I do believe in past life stuff and how like things that I like, karma and everything what goes around comes around. A lot of attraction. What you give out, you get back. Like everyone's a mirror. So if you're upset and you're gonna give that energy out to other people, you're gonna get negative emotions back at you. You know, everyone's a mirror, mirror image of yourself. That sort of thing. Bit weird to get your head around, but I can I can see how it fits in reality. I that's the thing because like I'm not a religious sort of person, like but I can understand and appreciate aspects of many different religions and beliefs. But at the moment, I'm focused on this sort of spiritual side of things. Like I'll believe in it, but I won't be like full on practicing it like a hold my hand together sort of way. But I don't really have one definitive belief. Put it that way. That's in that's in short. But yeah, I believe in past lives and everything. You know, like unresolved karma in past lives as to why people come into your life in this time round in this realm because like, in a previous life, like centuries ago, you may have like. That's like with birthmarks as well, like you may have been hurt or you may have been physically attacked. So like birthmarks and marks you carry through previously from that life. Like, and also sort of like people you have with, like people you don't get along with or people you have a shit time with, you know. I believe, looking back, I do believe in stuff like unresolved karma in past lives. Like you may have had a past life connection with somebody and you were supposed to do something in that time, but in that lifetime, but... It didn't, it was unresolved, so then you have to carry it through into this life to learn from it. Like, it sounds very far fetched, but I do actually believe in it because it's evident in my life. <clears throat> so now we're getting on to the actual ship. I also think that this is about past life because whenever I look at the ships of it, like, I get like a resonating feeling here, like in a gut feeling. You're like, yeah, just, you know, you know what I mean, like a gut feeling. And when I look at the pictures, like, it's, but the. Not the ones so much from the actual film, but the real life pictures like this one. I get like a cold sort of feeling and like a resonation here of uncertainty, unease. And that's not just a psychological awareness that because I know of the trauma that happened, it's imprinted in my mind that that was trauma. So I must feel that way, like inclined to feel that response. That's not because like, I do believe psychology is a huge part of my life because it's everyone's part of life. But I also believe that it's mixed with spirituality, like the two work hand in hand. But, yeah, whenever I look at, like, my, like, a picture of this, for example, let me put it a bit close. Yeah, that one, like, that, that sends my, I just, I just go cold looking at these pictures. Only the ones from, like, the 1900s that freak me out when I see pictures of them. And then black and white ships in general, so maybe not more than one ship in a life, or, oh, same picture, but it just, it creeped me out. So maybe I was on a past life in them. And I do believe in past lives and everything, and I do believe that the whole like knowing I feel like deep down I was on the ship, like I got feeling like intuition, but also maybe like a bit of clear cognizance. And because I do believe I'm not trying to boast anything, but I do have a little bit of a psychic gift. Everyone has a psychic gift because I do believe in I do believe that I do have I've got a bit of clear cognizance. I will do a whole video on like this sort of thing. I do think that past lives and stuff is real and. Definitely, I do believe that I was on this ship, which is why I have such a big connection with it in this life. Because I may have died on that ship and then gone up and agreed to come into this life before my life's actually begun. What I'm going to have to face in this lifetime. It's sort of like a deja vu moment when I look at the picture, but I don't get a snapshot or anything what I was on, like what it was like to be on it. I just get like a really cold resonating feeling with it, and I do believe that I was on it, and it's more than a psychological understanding. It's more like an emotional understanding, like deep within me like my gut feeling tells me that I was on it and everything and I feel I do believe I had a past life on there because this this strong connection so let me know if you believe that you have any past lives and other things and if you believe in other like spiritual kind of stuff to a certain degree as to why it comes in this life or have you had any experiences with like stuff like this because I'm going to do a full video and sometime in the future on like a little bit of my gift and a little bit of my practicing and beliefs and everything. But I'm not religious, I'm putting it out there, I am not religious. I do believe there is something beyond our experience and why everything's linked with spirituality and psychology and everything, but not like a practicing religious person. Like, 
and I'm not trying to cause like an ethical debate with this or anything or a philosophical debate because I'm just trying to say what my my opinion and my belief on it is. Like I understand people will be going against this video. People may be in agreement with it. People may be thinking I'm talking a lot of shit, but I feel there's something in it, and everyone else has. Everyone has got feelings and everything. So this is my video, and let me know if you've had any other experiences like this. Okay, thanks for watching.